Are you constantly sifting through Google Form data and sending out the results to colleagues? Wouldn't it be great to be able to summarize it all and send it out with no hassle? With Zapier and OpenAI, that's now possible. In just a few minutes, you can have your Google Forms data automatically summarized and saved as draft emails. Then, you can go in and add your personal touch to make your emails just the way you want. As long as you have a Google Forms account, OpenAI, Gmail, and a Zapier account, we can dive straight in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap. In Zapier, a Zap is a simple way to connect different apps and make them work together automatically. I can create my Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. To start our Zap, we'll need to create a trigger, or the event that starts any Zap. Because I want Google Forms to trigger a prompt in OpenAI, I'll need to use Google Forms as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Form Response as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Google Forms sees a new form response is created, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Google Forms, we'll need to connect it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, Zapier will only perform the actions you tell it to in a given Zap. We'll then need to fill out our trigger amps data. To do that, select the form you'd like to use for your Zap and click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. Testing our steps ensures that the data we entered is working. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. In Zapier, an action is a task that happens automatically after our trigger is set off. Type in OpenAI into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Send Prompt and then click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my Google account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the dropdown. Click Create New Secret Key, and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their form post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and we can start creating our ChatGPT prompt. Our prompt is the text instructions we give to GPT. To fill this out, we can use text as well as the data from the trigger step in our prompt. Make sure to be thorough and specific in your prompts. The more information you give GPT, the better your prompt will be. If you want to customize your prompt even more, you can play with the other settings on the screen such as top P, temperature, token length, frequency penalty, and presence penalty. Once your settings and prompts are to your liking, click Continue. Click Test Action, and we can see a sample of our Google Form Summary. If we don't like the results, we can go back to the last step and customize our prompt in a different way to get the results we like. If you're happy with your results, we can move on to our second action step. Click the plus button on the bottom of the screen to get started. We've created our prompt, but we still need to create a draft email. Let's use Gmail to store our drafts. To do this, type Gmail into the search bar and select it on the dropdown. Once that's complete, click Create Draft and click Continue. Log into your account once more and click Continue again. From there, we can start to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. You can type in a custom subject using both text and drop-down menu items from your previous steps. Then, select the email address of the person you'd like the data to go to. Under Body, you'll need to click Response in the drop-down in order for your prompt to appear and can customize this message even further using text or other drop-down menu items. There are other data points as well that you can fill out to customize your Zap even further. Once everything's filled out, click Continue. Click Test Action and we should be all set. Let's check to make sure this worked. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever a new form is filled out on our selected Google Form, Zapier will automatically create a draft email with our AI-generated responses. I hope this was a helpful demo. And if Google Forms isn't your thing, Zapier helps anyone connect apps and automate work. No coding required. You can sign up and start for free.